So what are the current energies going on? Okay, so we get the first card is go for it, reach for the moon. Then we get the card of moon memories, the past. And then moon beams, which is the card of focus. And um, I'll say when I did my reading last morning, that focus card was in my reading as well. And then we get the card of drawing down the moon, which is knowledge. Are you... Um, are you looking at the past and gaining the knowledge from that? Because when you can look at that energy of the past and not have an emotional connection to it, it becomes wisdom and knowledge. And then you can use that energy for your highest and greatest good, which is always an awesome thing. <laughs> and we're going to get some tarot. So if you've been wanting to really do something, but the past is kind of holding you back, reach for it, go for it today, um, you know, do something different, do, you know, what's going to make you happy, you know, what are you trying, you know, to learn, what are you trying to, you know, where is your focus? So, the current energy, the eight of swords, and that's definitely about looking at where, you, where is your focus, you know, are you focusing on the good things, or are you focusing on the things that make you worry, and that's crossed by the four of wands, so, that could, you know, that four wands is a twin flame card. Um, so are you focusing on that person? Are you focusing on that person's not doing the work? Or are you focusing on, you know, I'm doing the best and I'm going to see them for the best because they are going to mirror me. And that's so true. Um, the foundation is the hermit about really seeing this relationship from a higher place. Or are you making a decision about moving? Because sometimes that four wands can also be about a move. So. Are you looking at moving somewhere that would be for your highest and greatest good, you know, somewhere that would give you a little more stability and freedom? If you're thinking about it, go for it. Um, the recent past is the Page of Pentacles, which is about finding your balance, finding the stability, being the messenger in the physical. Pages are messengers. The Pentacles are the physical. Are you grounding your energy into the planet? Are you, you know... I want to bring in the highest vibration and I want to share that with all I come in contact with. The headspace is the moon, which is, you know, that cancer energy, that mother energy. Also, you know, that goes back to that four of wands energy. How was your relationship with your mother and how is that being mirrored in your life currently? Sometimes we don't want to think about the past of that, but like, what is your mom's story? You know, and look at how that relates to you. And and do you want to take it to a higher elevated place? Because each generation should, you know, progress. So are you taking it to a new inner? Are you taking it to a new place? Are you having new inspiration with that page of wands? We feel like when you look at this cycle and the pattern, it's going to give you brand new freedom. You know, my mom did this and that's not what I want to do. I, I want to have the intention and in focus to do something that's for my highest good. The current environment is the chariot, which is definitely about moving forward. We have three majors already, which is saying this, this is being very divinely guided as part of your path, part of your healing, part of the next phase for you. Are you ready to leave the past behind and walk to the door towards, you know, your highest and greatest good? How other people see you, the two of pentacles, you know, maybe they don't understand the decisions you're making. They're, you know, um, maybe you've pulled your energy back and are, and are just really working on you. And and that's great. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep working on you to, you know, get you to that place. You know, you have to make the choice. Are you worth it? Are you worth the time and energy to work on what you need to learn to move you forward? Are, are you willing to do that? Because the Hopes and Fears card is that Eight of Pentacles, which is about doing the work in the day-to-day. -day. Are you daily looking at what do I need to focus on? What cycle do I not want to bring forward in my life anymore? What do I want to set myself free from? And we get the card of the outcome is the Six of Cups, which is about that energy from the past coming back around. It's here. Are you, you know, are you looking at it in a different way. Are you ready to say, I'm going to take the wisdom, as we said in the beginning, when you can take a situation 
and talk about it without the full emotion overtaking you, you have gained the knowledge and the wisdom in that situation, which we feel is what it's calling for right now. If you are in a twin flame relationship and you are not in union, just know there is a reason. And as you do that deep dive in inner work, your person is doing that same thing. The underlying energy is the Ten of Wands about letting the baggage go, the judgment. The, let the judgment of yourself go. I should have known better. I should have done something different. I should have. Should have. Or that word should not exist in our vocabulary. Um, it's a self-defeating word. Um, honestly. So he says a self-defeating word. And it's time to let go of your self-judgment. Do the healing work. And because that is your part of the mission. We, you know, in five of wands, a lot of times there's different things. And this one, they're all doing, you know, they're all getting to that ultimate goal, which is what we're all doing on this ascension path. We're moving up that, you know, that ascension leveling. Are you doing that? Are you gaining the clarity? Are you finding the wisdom in your situations? If you have a cycle that keeps happening, say, I am attracting that energy. Where is that energy coming from? Like, what is it coming from? And we feel like it's coming from the mother energy with that moon um, in the headspace there. And then we get the card of family karma, which is ancestral karma and generational karma and the card of creativity spark. Dive deep into that project. The time is now. Look at your mother's cycles and her patterns in her life and find gratitude and appreciation for her it is the highest vibration she was just doing the best she could do with what she was taught she was repeating the cycle from her parents is that's what we do we are programmed and then we repeat that cycle and we evolve generation by generation but now you can end this you can end this for yourself for your children for your ancestors you can heal this like right now by taking the action of Let's take a deep dive. Let's look at the pattern and let's pull the emotion out of it. And let's just find the knowledge. Like it's really saying, you know, it's a good time to be in this King of Swords energy. Find the knowledge, you know, under that is the temperance card and then the boundaries card. So call in Archangel Michael, ask him to help you set the boundary. Say, I would like to know, you know. I would like to see the, I would like to understand this pattern. I want to see how I am also part of this pattern and how I am perpetuating this pattern. Because as you take it and take a step back from the emotional part of it and look at the wisdom, what is this showing me? It's showing me I'm being a people pleaser. It's showing me that I'm not worthy. It's showing me that I don't expect much from others, you know. What is this pattern showing you? Because it's really, really important on whatever the pattern is trying to show you at this time to, to move things forward. Because, But we definitely feel it's a pattern from the mother energy. So look at your mother energy, your, you know, that mother, you know, mother, grandmother energy. Look at that and see where is the pattern, you know, and where, where do you fit into that pattern? 